सो आफ्टर नियरली ट्वेंटी आवर्स ऑफ फ्लाइंग फाइनली हेयर एट द जॉन एफ कैनडी इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट न्यू यॉर्क I can't believe it. All these years, I've just dreamt of coming to this place, and it's finally happened. Is this real? Pinch me. Like me, if you are coming to the US for the first time, uh, you might want to know what exactly happens once you land. What are the formalities at immigration and customs, and what are the steps that you need to follow? So this is what I'm going to tell you in this video. So step one: as soon as you get out of the aircraft, you go into the line for immigration. There are two separate lines: one for US citizens and one for the non-US citizens, and you basically go and join this line. And this line. Ultimately takes you to the immigration officer. So step two comes when you are standing in this line for immigration. So you will come across a kiosk, and at this kiosk you need to scan your passport, enter your uh, visa details, uh, give some declarations about how much money you are carrying, what food items you are carrying, and get a printout of a receipt. And this receipt is important, and this is what you need to show to the immigration officer along with your passport. Now there are two scenarios which can happen when you get this receipt. If you get a clear receipt with no markings on it, you join a separate queue, which today in my experience was faster. And if at all on the receipt you get a marking of either a cross or a zero, then you join another queue. So in my case today, in the in the receipt that was printed out for me, there was a cross because. Uh, I think my visa and my passport details were different. My visa was of my old passport, and the passport that I have now is a fresh renewed one. So this queue was much longer, and uh, there were more people in this queue. So nothing to worry if you get a cross because a lot of people get this, and it's something to do with your passport and visa, which will get sorted out later. So this is step two. Once you complete this, you join back the queue and you wait till you reach the immigration officer. So once you reach the immigration officer, this is what happens. Uh, you give your passport, you give the receipt, and there are a few basic questions that are asked from you. Uh, he will ask you what is the purpose of your visit, uh, where are you planning to stay, how many days you're planning to stay, and when you're going back. So be prepared to answer these questions. It might also be a good idea to have a printout of your tickets. Or just have the tickets with you in your uh, on your phone. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that depending on what time you land and how many flights land uh, along the same time, the queue at the immigration uh, counter might be insane. So, for example, today we were standing the queue for almost three hours. So the queue can be as long as this. So make sure that you use the washroom, you have a water bottle with you, and that you're not too hungry. So make sure that you eat something and be prepared to stand. For a longer period of time. So once you're done with immigration, the next part comes the customs and the declaration. So with regard to the food items, there are certain rules. You cannot carry uh, some food products like fruits, fresh fruits, vegetables, dairy, meat products. So make sure that you're not carrying any of this with you. And in case you are, you need to declare that and pass through the customs. So again, customs varies. Sometimes they do check your bags. and uh, if you're carrying food items you need to show them what you're carrying sometimes they don't like today they didn't check you know so these are the basic three steps uh, getting into the immigration line uh, printing out your form through the kiosk and giving a very basic interview or rather a very basic interaction with the immigration officer and this interaction is very chilled out there's nothing to be scared of just remember uh, the basic questions why you're here when are you leaving where do you plan to stay and they were pretty friendly with us in fact he he was more than friendly he kept today kept telling us you can stay for 6 months if you want why are you going back so soon and all that so it's a pretty chilled out interaction as long as you have everything in order there is nothing that you need to worry about
this is what happens once you land in the United States of America. I hope this helps you out. If you're wondering how do I get a visa to come here and if you're planning to come as a tourist or for a short business visit, it's the B1, B2 visa. And I actually have an entire playlist dedicated to this visa right from the documentation to the interview. So I'm going to leave a link for that above and in the description box. Make sure you check it out. And for a more detailed preparation, you can also book a one-to-one -one session with me. You will also find the link for that in the description box. So we are finally on the other side. Finally, officially in the United States, in New York. And now we're going to grab our bags, catch the metro train and reach our friend's place. So signing off for now, you can, and if you're wondering how to use the subway here and how to get from the airport to the city without spending you know, hundreds of dollars, watch the next video. Signing off for now. Bye.